Right, time now for our weekly feature, Does It Work? And this week, we're hitting the beers and testing breathalysers. We would never recommend that you drink and drive, even if you've had just the one. But now there are loads of devices for sale on the high street that let you check to see whether you're legal and safe to drive the morning after, the night before. But with such a crucial test, can they be relied on? Well, we've got three here from the high street that Tom was mentioning, and this one is the official one borrowed from a local friendly police officer. Now, researcher Jimmy here has recently sunk three pints of extremely strong lager. We'll start with a pro device. Chaps, off you go. Right, come on then, you yob. Stick that in your mouth. Here we go. Keep blowing until it goes click. Keep going. That's it. Come along. There we are. Let's see if you pass or fail. Keep going. There we are. There's the click. Now, this police device, if you wanted to buy one yourself, they cost about 400 quid. And the police actually say this is as accurate as it gets by the roadside. And there we go. 0.39, which says fail. Can you see that? Now, the legal limit in Britain is 35. So at 39, you've completely failed. I'm afraid you're going to prison, son. Mm. On with the high street stuff. We're going to start with this, the backtrack. Now, this is 50 quid, and you basically breathe onto this like you're yawning. You're not supposed to blow at it. There you go, Timothy. Come on, then. Now, this machine is the same technology that's supplied to the American police forces. But the problem with it is, it doesn't provide us the same units as we get in the UK. It gives a percentage alcohol reading. Now, what's it reading? Uh, it's reading 0.07. Now, there you go. it comes with a table that allows us to, to translate that. And at 0.07, driving skills are always impaired at this level of intoxication and higher. So, in other words, it lets you know that you've been drinking. Yeah, and if you've had 10 pints the night before, I'm not sure that's completely valuable because it doesn't tell you whether you're over or under our legal limit. So, even though it lets you know that you've had a drink, not that much use. OK, this is the £60 Alco Sense. Now, obviously, this has got the usual straw oh. thing, and you just blow into this like you would normally. You don't have to take a particularly deep breath. It's like a little mobile phone. It is quite cute. There we are, right. Blow into that normally, son. Off you go, Jimmy. There Keep we blowing. Are. Keep blowing. You know how to do this. Yes, it even says blow on the screen. There. Ooh. What's our reading? The reading is 0.39. Now, that is exactly the same as the official breathalyzer from the police. So that's incredibly accurate. Pretty Very good. impressed with that. And all that for 60 quid, don't forget. OK, on to the most expensive of our testers. This is the Alka Scan. It's £84.50. And you have to take a very deep breath, just like you do with the official tester. Right, now this one is actually ready, so do exactly as the man says. Breathe the full lung capacity out. Really blow hard, Jimmy. Come on. You know you like that. That'll do nicely, son. Thank you very much. And the results, they are coming in now. Oh. oh dear. 0.28 so from that's this one. 28. Now, according to that, you're still legal and safe to drive, which is wrong and could get you into an awful lot of trouble.